Here's what really caught my attention with Accelerate, though. After months of tepid demand for IPOs, Accelerate was set to raise $384 million, but they had to upsize the deal to $441 million because the underwriters fully exercised their option to purchase additional shares, and there was just tons of demand. Yes, actual demand. Demand for this thing, and for good reason. Even as the stock has pulled back hard over the last few days, now I think you're getting the opportunity, and I'm going to tell you why. First, like I already explained, the world desperately needs liquefied natural gas infrastructure. We have a massive quantity of nat gas in this country and in some other places like Australia and Middle East. But the only way to transport it is very expensive. You've got to freeze it, uh, in, it down into a more compact liquid, okay, which takes a lot of expensive equipment because you have to put it on a boat. Then once you get on the other side of the ocean, you need to convert it back into a gas, which you can then uh, move via pipeline. It's pretty ingenious. So where does Accelerate fit in the liquefied natural gas food chain? They have floating ship-based liquefied natural gas terminals that can sail to where they're needed. Right now, the company has a fleet of 10 floating storage and regasification units. These are ships that transform liquefied natural gas back into regular natural gas. That's the end of the trip. Accelerate is also in the process of expanding into more natural gas transportation business. Part of the idea here is that they can set up shop in areas that lack developed energy infrastructure then dominate those markets. For example, Accelerate currently provides as much as 15% of Pakistan's daily natural gas. Their projects in Bangladesh have increased the country's nat gas supply by 20 to 30%. Plus, by sticking their terminals on huge ships, they can often avoid many of the regulatory hassles that make it so difficult to build LNG infrastructure. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.